What's up guys, Wayside from Wayside of Marshy here bringing you Far Cry 3, giving you a little review, give you a little walkthrough we'll call it, um, I don't know if you played the first one or second one, first one I thought was really really fun, I remember when it came out, Feral Abilities, super crazy, super cool, number two came out, I was actually pretty disappointed, did not care for it at all, at all. Uh, I was keeping my eyes on the third one, and uh, epic, so much fun, you can just burn hours and hours and hours into just Single player, multiplayer is really, really fun. I know they wanted to build it to be as competitive as possible as far as Call of Duty and Halo and Battlefield. Uh, it's actually very, very fun. Um, even though sometimes it's a little sketchy um, as far as matchmaking goes. But uh, is, this is single player. Wanted to show you as much as I could. So basically, here we are. Uh, I just lit those guys up with my flamethrower. There's tons of different weapons uh, which you get to buy. Uh, or you get to earn. So by every radio tower that you set free, this is a radio tower. Every one that you set free, you get more free weapons. So the more you're free, uh, basically the more guns you get. Uh, otherwise you can go fork out your money, but uh, I would recommend just freeing these towers. And then it also reveals it on the map, so it makes it real nice. And each tower is a little different. So, you know, there's a lot of really cool, unique ideas like that. Uh, I'll call them ideas, but... Um, just little things. So as you're playing, you'll be like, oh man, cool. You know, every tower could have been the exact same, but everyone's a little different. Um, again, so basically, you got to climb your tower. Once you get to the top, you got to hit the box. Uh, and you guys probably see those uh, smoke in the back uh, all over. Those are like the enemy bases. So you have to clear those enemy bases, and then you won't get shot by the enemy camps. And number two, you had respawning guys. Um, this one they don't respond so if you kill them or clear the map then that's your territory and your guys move in and as you guys can see it's a big map so you may think that's the background but no you can actually go to all those places which is just epic and so we freed it and then you get to take the zip line um, and, and again, again it's really expansive so so much to do in this game and I'm only scratching on the just main single player so just the main stuff that you'll be doing um, so there we go, we freed it. Uh, next I'm going to jump into combat, going to show you a little bit, and again when I say little bit, you can do so much in this game. So like some guys, uh, you'll just completely set up, maybe you'll lay down some claymores and some C4, um, you'll shoot one guy, or you'll just shoot your gun in the air so guys come running out, blows up your claymores, and then you'll blow your C4 which blows up more guys. Um, Pretty cool stuff. There's the map. So as you can see, most of it's green because I've cleared all those areas. But you can see that red flag. That's still enemy controlled. So all of that red area means that that's pretty much where that black smoke's coming from. So if you clear that area with the black smoke, then that becomes your area. And then again, uh, you, you can't get attacked. And then there's hunting missions. So pretty cool. So this is the boat. Uh, you get your camera, which highlights guys. Really cool. So if you want to do some recon on base, you can tell if there's snipers in there or you know tank guys um, knife takedowns super sick uh, and it's cool because you have a skill tree so the skill trees and the weapons shop I'll show you you at the end of the uh, video that way you can get an idea of as far as some of the stuff you can do but you get more XP for stringing together attacks headshots um, this gun's actually a special gun so as you can see headshot it's silent and it's like it's one of the rare ones, again, for free uh, radio towers. So pretty cool. This is probably my favorite weapon, uh, the bow. Um, it's so much fun. Uh, just because you can go around and uh, you can either stealth take out guys. Otherwise, uh, you can you get exploding arrows, fire arrows, a lot of different options. And it's just fun. It makes you feel like, you know, it makes you feel like you're Arnold Schwarzenegger from, uh, you know, any of the Rambos. Um... But again, so there's a camp, so that's where the actual black smoke comes from. So you have to clear the camp. So if you clear it stealth-like, which you can do, but it's fun to it's fun to try a lot of different options. So you can go in with your bow and just be completely stealth-like. And once you clear it, it becomes your domain, your place, your guys move in. And then like hunting missions open up or like assassin, assassin quests open up. Um, and there you go. Uh, I missed his head though, so that kind of sucks. But whatever, and it's really cool because uh, there's wildlife all over. Some areas will have tigers, some have panthers, some have pigs. 
and all the animals in the game uh, they get used for your pelts so in a lot of games you would just sell it uh, and make money off it in this game uh, let's say you go skin two goats those two goats may be your larger backpack in order to hold more more ammo so just really cool you know everything really has a purpose in this game and you can spend hours just hunting animals and this is really cool too because you know I could have gone through and killed those guys but instead that tiger happened across the base and killed those guys which happens every occasionally or the bad guys will sometimes have them caged up and you can shoot them to freedom this I just wanted to show there's a ton of vehicles uh, hang gliding this is really really cool um, just because you can take it you can fly you know fly around faster transportation and uh, there's just so much to do but I highly highly recommend it if you like Skyrim um, it's kinda like Skyrim except for guns I know other people have said that but you know that's me saying it so <laughs> waste I, woo. Uh, anywho just super super fun I mean you can literally just kill so many hours and it's not killing hours it's you know you're having fun you're really enjoying yourself as you play this game and uh, especially a lot of the weapons have upgrades, so that's really fun too. So you may get your sniper rifle, buy a better scope for it, buy some stuff for it. A lot of really sick options. And uh, next, uh, oh, here's the armory. So just wanted to show you off some of the guns. You can buy those, or again, a lot of them will become available for you. Uh, and you can customize them all, which is really sick. And uh, you can also buy maps. So if you want to go after the achievements for collections, you can buy the maps, they'll show you exactly where to get your loot, get your goods, and get your gamer score. Uh, those are some of the rare ones I've unlocked already, so just a couple. I'm sure a lot of you have, have more than that, but again, maybe not. Um, and again, um, I'm going to do a separate video for multiplayer, but the multiplayer is really fun. Highly recommend it, uh, as long as the matchmaking. Hopefully they get that matchmaking figured out. Um, I've had some issues with it, but that's neither here or there and there's some of the uh, stuff that you can equip so larger backpacks uh, larger packs for c4 larger ammo packs and it shows you exactly what kind of ammo you need so that one's a tiger leather and uh, again though kind of cool so there's goat skins in order to upgrade carry more arrows um, and then I decided to show some of the skill trees so well I'll show all three of them but Get, again it's kind of cool because you can upgrade your character as you play so maybe you can hold your breath maybe you can you know assassinate people from up in the air or assassinate them from below uh, there's a lot of different cool things you can do in it and I didn't even touch it uh, touch on it at all because I didn't want to ruin any of it but as far as the uh, storyline goes the storyline is really really good um, and the graphics are amazing so graphics are amazing and the story quest, if I showed you one of them, if I showed you just the beginning 10 minutes, you'd be hooked. Uh, it's just really, really sick. It's not often that I can say that for a game, but that's yeah, super fun. Highly recommend it. And uh, the story's awesome. And then just all the side quests, you just burn hours just hunting different animals. Um, and, uh, you know, just trying to make yourself more of a badass character. So I hope you enjoyed as much as I, I have. Uh, I still have a lot more enjoying to do, only about halfway through. Uh, and there's just endless amounts of missions. I've played it for a ton, and I've only done, like, two out of the 14 missions. 